Hello, my name is Martin Lipscomb and I'm joined by Professor Sally Thorne of the University of British Columbia, Canada. Professor Thorne is Editor-in-Chief of the journal Nursing Inquiry. She's also a respected researcher, scholar, writer. Sally has authored a fabulous number of papers. However, uh, she here talks about a chapter titled on the contribution of nursing theorists that will appear in the forthcoming Routledge Handbook of Philosophy and Nursing. Sally, please. Uh, who were and who are the nursing theorists? What is nursing theory? What factors influence the form that it took and what role and place does this theory occupy in nursing's professional history? That is, how and why did it develop? And lastly, the million dollar question, what next for nursing theory? Thanks, Martin. Uh, nursing theory is a kind of an interesting phenomenon because because I I think it arose primarily in the U.S. during a time at which nursing was really trying to defend its self and understand itself. And I've just actually read an interesting chapter in a, a pre-publication book by Marsha Fowler. Who's, who's proposing that uh, in the UK, that idea of nursing as a calling or a profession was really dominant at that time, partly because nurses weren't in, nursing education wasn't in universities at that time. Whereas in the US with the move to move into universities, there was a strong urge to articulate it as a science. So in the context of being a science, you really want to figure out what the theoretical basis is. Well, they didn't, they didn't actually have the understandings of science that we have now. Um, and so, but they did feel that there had to be some sort of theoretical foundation that would guide both practice and also research. And so these things that we call nursing theories and the people we call nursing theorists were those who were trying to conceptualize this entity. And the, th the, the, the language of theory is very strong. It hasn't changed. It still exists. If you look at the nurseology website, I think it has 74 different nursing theories listed. So it's still a movement and still a thing. Uh, but my view of it is that it probably, in hindsight, had there, had there been an understanding that there were alternatives, might have been better articulated as in something in the domain of philosophy trying to conceptualize how do you think about an entity such as nursing that is so diverse and specific in all of our parts of the world and all of our forms of practice, all of the different things that nurses do, and yet has a unifying core. And it's trying to articulate what that unifying core would be and how we would develop it theoretically. So a lot of effort was placed. Um, one of the reasons it kept going, I think, was that there was definitely an interest in taking nursing education out of being a subset of medical education, or that the medical schools in the universities felt that they should have control over curriculum. That might not have, by the time UK got nursing into the universities, that might not have been an issue, but it certainly was in North America. I'm in Canada as well. Uh, but, but medical schools and physicians and universities did not take easily to the idea of a curriculum developed on the basis of a nursing theory. So it did become a really useful avenue to own what it is we teach the young ones. Um, and it was perhaps less successful in owning what we do in practice. Um, and that, that explains what the, the enthusiasm for it, why it was such a real effort, particularly in the United States. You're muted. I'm, I think you're muted, Martin. Well, that was very silly, wasn't it? Um, Quite a few questions jumped to mind. Um, for example, given the huge efforts that went into developing and also disseminating nursing theories, I wonder whether ultimately that effort was worth it. However, uh, let me make uh, an observation and invite you to respond. Anecdotally, subjectively, I don't think nursing theorists today receive the attention in the UK that they continue to get in the United States and perhaps Canada. Now, if my subjective impression is correct, what, if any difference, um, does this tell us about the way nursing is developing across the globe? Might this difference suggest that the UK and possibly European nursing is diverging in important ways from North American nursing? 
Yeah, I think it's probably fair to say that um, UK may not have seen the, the urgency that the United States would have felt for articulating a theoretical foundation that was common across nursing. Um, uh, and and the, the reasons for that may be caught into professionalizing and regulation and ethics and distinguishing a discipline within universities, which would have happened quite differently in different places. The other, the other feature, though, I think that is that that UK and certainly uh, parts of Europe um, had a much stronger and earlier sense of a philosophical tradition in nursing, and so the the uh, international philosophy of nursing science, for example, short studies, for example, the society started gathering in the UK. That really was the place of those sorts of conversations during a time when it probably wouldn't have occurred to most in American nursing that that was a worthwhile conversation. So there were parallel discussions going on, and not much overlap between philosophers. In in nursing and the theorists in nursing. They were very different discussions. It's fun to imagine what would have happened if you could have got them into a room all together and they could have discussed it. June Kikuchi for a period of time in the 90s tried to gather uh, different thinkers together and have these conversations. They were sometimes successful, sometimes not, but that's the only place that I was aware of that really, really did think about bringing theorists and philosophers together. What they didn't really do though, they've really focused on the, the task at hand, which was to conceptualize and define nursing, not really to look back at what's the social and political context in our different nations in which this urgency to define and conceptualize nursing occurs. I think their mm -hmm. tunnel vision was healthcare and education, not the larger social context. So frankly, I don't think it's a problem that UK never, didn't take up the theorists in quite the same way. They didn't have a need to, and they probably didn't see the relevance. And by the time they did, they may have noticed there were a lot of bun fights going on between theorists, whose was going to dominate, whose was the better theory. And uh, unfortunately, the th nursing theory movement did deteriorate a little bit into a tug of war as to which groups of theorists would, would dominate. And uh, uh, that was sort of sufficiently unseemly that many nurses and many nurse academics just stopped reading in that domain. Mm. It's interesting that you make a distinction there between the nursing theorists and people who um, are interested in philosophy, because of course the theorists would, or some of them at least, claim that they're doing philosophy, albeit of a, of a particular type. Um, yes, yeah. Um, okay, again. I, I, would, I would actually say that some of them were doing philosophy. In, to the extent that they they could, most of them were not formally trained philosophers, and it wouldn't have occurred to them, since they were trying to build science, they would not have occurred to them that formal philosophical inquiry was, was useful. But when we look at the theories, you know, I've been, I've been a little critical of them, but also when we go back and look at those theories, we do see evidence of some real deep philosophizing in the, in the sense of trying to untangle some very, very difficult intellectual complexities that pertain to the thing that we would call nursing. Would you link that in any way to the interest that nurses have in qualitative research? this untangling that you speak of. Would you make a connection there or is that um, an unfair connection? I, I don't think it, it's necessarily a useful connection, but certainly okay. the theorists may have pointed people in the direction of understanding that they were concerned about holism, for example, mm. rather than parts, that, that simple measure, measurement of something was not necessarily going to um, allow us to think about it in the complex and multifaceted way that nursing needed to think about it. So I do think that there probably was a contribution of the theory, the theory movement to uh, getting nurses enthusiastic about complexity and at qualitative methods, of course, are more suited to wrestling with complexity than were quantitative methods at the time. Now, some of my quantitative colleagues who are uh, have very large brain cells are really wrestling with complexity in, in measurement now. But I think for a long period of time, uh, qualitative research was an alternative to the forms of research available that seemed to be objectifying and reducing in a way that was inconsistent with that conceptualization of this profession. Okay, but, but you, in essence, you think the connection that I was just beginning to 
the draw there between nursing's interest in qualitative and the theorists is is an unfair one. Well, I, I think I think it it pro the the theory. Um, the theorizing probably laid the foundation for people, nurses seeing more quickly why okay. they would want qualitative methods. And I do believe nurses um, took up methodology and methodological applications in qualitative research decades before some of their colleagues in other health disciplines for this reason, mm -hmm. because there was a mismatch between research techniques that were available and the questions that these theories were telling us were interesting to the discipline. Yeah. Okay. Sally, again, really interesting. Thank you for your time. It's always nice to chat. And for people who um, want to learn more, links to Professor Thorne's work and the Routledge Handbook of Philosophy and Nursing are provided in the notes. Um, Sally, nice to talk to you. Cheerio. Thanks so much.